What's up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Michelle and today we're doing our first last meals video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Victor Feiger. Um, it was very tricky finding information on Victor. Uh, little is known about him and his background and about how he grew up. But he was born in Michigan in 1935. Sadly, his mother passed away in 1941. And shortly after that, his father became a terrible alcoholic. And by the age of 12, he was moved to a boy's home and he started doing things like petty theft. Uh, as a teenager and as a young adult, he was in and out of prisons by stealing, starting fires, and being quite the daredevil. When he got out of prison, Victor became a drifter and he went into Dubuque, Iowa in the summer of 1960. This is interesting. Uh, Victor rented a $6 a week boarding house that was falling apart. Soon Victor obtained a phone book and went through the yellow pages. Victor was looking for a physician. Uh, he went from A all the way down to B and found Dr. Edward Bartels. He claimed that his wife was in need of medical attention. He gave Dr. Bartels the name of Ed Stevens. Before he left, Dr. Bartels left a note for his wife and drove towards the home of Victor. Now I think we need to take some time out and talk about Dr. Edward Bartels. I wanted to do some research on him and I found a article on Find a Grave and they seemed to talk fondly about Edward and I wanted to share some of that information. Uh, when Dr. Bartels was in high school, he participated in wrestling, basketball, track and football. He was the center of the football team, a co-captain, and received a Seniors Gold Athletic Award. He graduated to Puke High School in 1944. Dr. Bartels received his bachelor's in science at the University of Iowa in 1949, and soon after that, he graduated from the University of Iowa Medical School in 1953. Dr. Bartels was happily married, and he had three children, and he was expecting baby number four. But sadly, upon his arrival, Victor pulled a gun on Dr. Bartels and forced him back into the car. Victor had Dr. Bartels drive east towards Illinois. Victor murdered Dr. Bartels and left him in a cornfield and drove away. Nine days later, Dr. Bartels' body was found by two farmers and on the same day, Victor drove Dr. Bartels' 1959 Rambler to Montgomery, Alabama. And this time he was under the name Smith Gerald Hudson. He tried to sell his car but the dealership contacted the FBI instead. When they arrested Victor, they found in the back seat the doctor's bag, the stethoscope, and a 380 caliber semi-automatic pistol. And he almost confessed fully to the crime, but he said that his co-conspirator, Alex Dupree, actually killed the good doctor. Victor said Alex killed Dr. Bartels, and in turn, Victor killed Alex, and then threw Alex's body in the Mississippi River. Now the local police went to the Mississippi River along with the FBI and nothing was found. Nothing of this Alex character, nothing that, nothing was matching up to Victor's story. So they took Victor fully in. And it took only three weeks for the court to decide that Victor was truly guilty. He later submitted an appeal, which was also denied. Um, Iowa's governor at the time Governor Harold Hughes and Victor's attorney both tried to file clemency for Victor. Now at the time, John F. Kennedy was the president at the time and he disagreed. He said that Victor's crime was so bad and so brutal that he was denied. Victor transferred from Leavenworth, Kansas to Iowa because Leavenworth Penitentiary was not set up to execute prisoners. On March 5, 1963, he was brought to Iowa State Penitentiary at Fort Worth, Madison, and placed on the state's death row. All right, so what do you think Victor's last meal was? I know these are not the ones that he had, nor they have a pit in them, but on March 14, 1963, Victor was granted his last meal, a single olive with a pit still inside. He told the guards that 
This was his way of offering the family a sign of peace. That night, after the meal of a single olive, Victor sat in an all-night vigil from a Roman Catholic priest. So let's try an olive. I know this, I don't think these have the pits, even though they say some of them, but I'm not an olive person. So I'm so sorry if you are a fan of olives. I'm not. So cheers, let's go. Yep, that's an olive, all right. Yep. All right. March 15th, 1963, between 4 and 5 in the morning, Victor changed into another suit. He was escorted to the gallows and he was executed by hanging. The pit that he had from the olive, it never, never made it with him to the grave and he was placed in an unmarked grave in Fort Madison City Cemetery. Since 1965, no one has been executed in the state of Iowa. There has been many attempts to reinstate the death penalty in Iowa, but they have all failed. Since then, 23 states in the U.S. has abolished capital punishment. It's an interesting fact that it would be 40 years later that the next federal execution would take place. And the execution was none other than the execution of Timothy McVeigh. And we will also be doing a video on Timothy McVeigh. That will be our next last meal. Now thoughts? What are your thoughts? What are your personal thoughts and feelings on this? Was the death penalty, could you see Victor serving more time? Could you, did you think that justice was served in this? I would love to know your opinions. And while we have my opinions, let's have another olive. Again, I'm sorry, but olives and I, I don't think we get along that well. Cheers and let's go. Okay. Yep, that is one. Um, I see his gesture in, I see his gesture in wanting to have an olive and have it grow from his grave as a sign of peace, but you left a wife without a husband. You left these three children and an unborn baby without a father. And we're supposed to have sympathy for you, for you killing a most important person in the family. But I hope that the Bartels' family found peace and love and happiness in all their futures. And Oh, that olive is nasty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we are going to continue with some last meals on this channel. So remember to hit that subscribe button. They're going to be from small things that they had on death row to some people had an extravagant feast on their last meal. So I hope you guys will stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, to comment, subscribe, join that wolf pack, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Peace. Oof, that olives. Bye.